Ever pondered about the mystique surrounding tarot cards? These decks, comprised of 78 unique cards, have captivated the curious for centuries. Each card is a world in itself, adorned with symbols and imagery that tell a story. The tarot deck is divided into two main sections, the major arcana, the game's trump cards, and the minor arcana, akin to modern playing cards. The symbolism in these cards is rich and diverse, sparking countless interpretations. But where did these intriguing cards originate? Let's delve into their history. The roots of tarot cards trace back to the 15th century in Italy. It's a captivating tale, one that begins not with mysticism or divination, but with a game. Yes, a game. The original purpose of these intriguing cards was for a popular pastime known as tarocchi. This was no ordinary card game though. It was a favorite among the Italian nobility, a sophisticated diversion that required not just skill, but also beautiful decks of cards. These decks, often commissioned by wealthy families, were intricate works of art, each card a masterpiece in its own right. The most famous of these were the Visconti Trumps, named after the noble family who commissioned them. These decks, some of which endure till this day, provide a fascinating glimpse into the world of 15th century Italy. From a simple game to a tool of divination, tarot's journey was about to take a significant turn. The 18th century marked a new era for tarot cards. This was the time when tarot began to be associated with the mystical and the occult, shifting from a simple card game to a tool for divination. Two key figures played substantial roles in this transformation. Antoine Cord de Gabelin, a French clergyman and scholar, was one of the first to interpret the tarot's symbolism in the context of the ancient Egyptian religious ideas. He believed that the tarot held the secrets of the ancient Egyptians revealing divine wisdom. Following in Gebelin's footsteps, Jean-Baptiste Alliette, also known as Etilia, took these theories a step further. Etilia was the first to create a tarot deck specifically designed for divination purposes. His deck, complete with revised symbolism and interpretations, gave a whole new dimension to tarot readings. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and we witnessed the birth of the Rider Waite Smith deck. This was a groundbreaking moment in the world of tarot. The deck, created by Arthur Edward Waite and artist Pamela Coleman Smith, became one of the most popular and widely used tarot decks in the world. It's renowned for its rich detailed imagery which has made it a favorite among tarot readers and enthusiasts alike. As the centuries rolled on, tarot continued to evolve and captivate. From a humble card game to a divine tool of insight, tarot's transformation is indeed a fascinating journey through time. In the present day, tarot cards have taken on a life of their own. They've become an integral part of many spiritual practices, serving as tools for meditation, introspection, and even self-improvement. Psychologists too have found value in the tarot, using the cards as a means to tap into the subconscious and explore the mind's inner workings. And of course, many people still turn to the tarot for a glimpse into the future, seeking guidance and insight on life's pressing questions. But the tarot is not just a tool, it's also an art form. The cards of today come in an astonishing array of designs, each with its own unique interpretation of the traditional symbols. From whimsical to gothic, minimalist to elaborate, there's a deck out there to suit every aesthetic and personal philosophy. The tarot's journey from the Renaissance courts to our contemporary world is truly remarkable. The tarot cards hold a rich history within their vibrant images. Emerging from the heart of the 15th century Italy, they began their journey as mere playing cards. They were the aristocracy's favorite pastime, a game of chance with a dash of strategy. As the centuries rolled on, these cards underwent a striking transformation, evolving beyond their gaming roots. They journeyed across borders, cultures, and time, acquiring a deeper mystical significance. They became tools of divination, keys to unlocking the secrets of the subconscious mind, guides for introspection and self-discovery. In the modern era, the tarot cards have retained their allure, their mystery. They're no longer just cards. They've become a language, a means of dialogue with the self and the universe. They're used by individuals worldwide, offering guidance, sparking creativity, and providing a mirror to the soul. And thus, the enchanting history of tarot cards continues to unfold, as mysterious and captivating as the cards themselves.